Welcome back to part four of the post comp progress series. Just about to start streaming uh, after I just uploaded the last episode. And uh, just wanted to make it clear that whenever I'm streaming, uh, I will be listening to music on Pandora or whatever, but that is not going to show up in the recording. Uh, it'll only be uh, audible in the stream. Uh, however, I'm not sure how to differentiate RuneScape audio from Pandora audio. Uh, in OBS, so you guys are not going to be hearing RuneScape sounds or any beam sounds or anything like that whenever I am streaming, uh, but I will still have proper clips from whenever I'm streaming if anything significant happens. Really? I'll take that. Let me see, how many kills in? Rune Dragons... 46 kills? <laughs> Alright. There, I'm finally able to record another clip eight hours later. Dormant Anima Core Helm. Second Helm. No, not, not, not super useful, but... Well, the stream is finally over. Going to go cook myself something. I streamed for about ten hours. I think I'm going to start doing that uh, pretty often on Saturdays if I don't have a lot of schoolwork going on. And I'll, uh, either I'll end up uploading on Saturdays to give you guys notification of that, or I'll just, like, tell you ahead of time if I upload the day before, or even make a little video just to throw up and be like, hey, I started the stream now, but, uh, you can always follow me on Twitch if you, if you want to know when that's, uh, going on. Um, didn't end up getting many drops, though, uh, I now have the dormant Anima Core body, two helms, um, got that rage fire gland way early on. And that was, that was about it. Uh, got a good, good number of Onyx Bolt tips from Rune Dragons. And, um, yeah. Oh, and since it wasn't clear, we ended up doing, uh, I think, three hours of Greg. One or one and a half hours, I guess, being trio. The rest being duo. I think one hour was trio. No. Yeah, I think one hour is trio with one guy. One hour is trio with another guy. Half hour is trio with another guy. And we ended off the hour duo. Uh, then we did some KK as well, and attempted some Rots, uh, but aside from that, I just did a lot of Slayer. Pretty, pretty, uh, uneventful. Well, going to do that Slayer, and, uh, on to another Celestial Dragon task. Draconic Visage! So I guess I have to drop a cave fish to pick that one up, but... Okay, you know, I'll take it. It just keeps adding a mill to the bank value. And with those Celestial Dragons, that marks uh, 410 tasks done, and I ended up with the uh, Ushapti getting filled. Oh, that's the first time I've been offered Soul Devourers. Gonna spin that VIP ticket real quick. Yeah, that's getting preferred right away. Came over to Greg doing some solo kills and just picked up 108 ranged. Uh, not having any luck, and this guy is much harder solo than he is duo or trio, uh, so I might go have to... Might have to go back to doing that till I get my offhand, but I'll do a little bit of solo for now. And there it is, 108 Slayer, uh, slowly making my way up. Uh, between yesterday and today, I've knocked out like, I don't know, about 4% of what I have left to go for 120. Uh, so it's going to take quite a while to finish. And hey, that uh, task that got me the Slayer level also ended up being task number 420. Oh, and man, am I happy that I, uh, finally got this soul talisman from that task. Let me see. Gotta put everything together for an omni talisman. I think that's all of them. And, uh, take it to whoever? I think it's a wizard. I'm gonna go find out. Here, at Wizard Elris in the Runecrafting Guild, uh, exchange. Nope, that's not it. Let's talk to them, and, um, I don't know, what can I do here? Tell me about the Omni Talisman, and I have a talisman to show you. There we go. <laughs> Gives you XP for everyone, I didn't know that. And, uh, Soul. There we go. Just throw this into my Wicked Hood now. Delicious. And I can now get Pure Essence, I believe. Let me just click that. 
Yeah, finally. The ability to get pure essence from my Wicked Hood. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it took me until after comp to be able to do that. Oh, that's an interesting drop, eh? Doing some Slayer, got the Gemstone Greaves, which are also standing up pants. So that's kind of strange. But hey, that's uh, that's tier 80 hybrid. Um, so it's an upgrade. Uh, it's actually an upgrade for my, my normal melee setup because I use... Uh, <laughs> because I use um, War Priest. But... Yeah, cool. Uh, that's one of the things taken care of. Actually got the Gemstone Greaves before the soul here. Uh, so I'm getting kind of scared on how long uh, this might take. And then and then there's another dragon. Thought I'd casually do a little bit of thieving, and there's virtual level 100. About to go to Beastmaster, but uh, I figure I need a tier 70 melee shield since I do want to try um, a Raxor with melee, and I want to take a higher than T60 shield with me for whatever reason. Uh, so I'm actually going to combine Visage and, and that together to make a dragon file, sh dragon fire shield, and uh, yeah, get that nice 2k XP. Okay, so it's a little rough starting out, getting used to the uh, the different mechanics, I guess, but. You know, it's actually pretty fast for a learner kill. I was eating much more than I should have at 0% in rage. Uh, but I got 728, which is just 40 seconds longer than my uh, personal best, I think. I think? Let me see. No, it's about a minute longer than my personal best. But I think I can improve that quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a little while to get used to, though. Well, I think I'll keep doing melee, at least for my low and rage kills. Uh, this is going into 80% here. Um, haven't died yet. I've come kind of close, and that sign cooldown is not from Rax. You can see when I started Rax. So, uh, yeah, haven't been signed yet either. Oh, 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 lobby. Oh, God. My yak is going to die partway through the kill. Oh, this is not going to be good. Yeah, I just kind of had to eat that death. I hate that it doesn't let you lobby or anything like that. At least not in phase one. You can't, uh, you can't just end the kill there. I'm pretty sure if I would have logged out, uh, that they would have killed me. So, yeah, that's, that's not cool. But, um, yeah, melee kills are going alright. I don't think I can handle higher in rage because I'm getting pretty close to dying in phase four. Uh, but being able to Berserk uh, as soon as Rax goes under 50k in Phase 4 uh, really helps me get through, uh, and I don't have any struggles with the Dark Core at all. Actually, in two of the three kills that I just did, I think I did three kills, yeah, um, it didn't even hit me once. So yeah, that, that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, glad that I'm, I'm learning it, and this will help me uh, if I actually end up getting a Hilt. Uh, yeah, this, this will help me out quite a bit, because uh, that weights me towards 75% being good instead of 50% being good because of how Rax Hilts drop. Also, it means that I no longer have to use uh, Ancient Bones on Death Lotus Starts. Um, if I end up getting Shadow Glaives from Greg, I'll keep doing range uh, in higher in rage kills, but I think for the time being, it's fine just doing like 0 to 100 every day. Uh, doing 2 hours of Rax every day was, was really kind of hard. In other news, though, uh, in about, I don't know, six hours or so, because I think that's when the updates happen, uh, at least I'm about to go to sleep and wake up with an update, uh, that's going to be Invention Badge 2, so all of this stuff is going to get out, and that's going to be a lot of money. Let's see, all but one, do that, and then I have all of my bolts here. Um, I'm going to attach these orbs in the morning, and I'll throw those in as well. And I don't think I have any other alkables outside of that stuff. Uh, but that should still be worth quite a bit of gold. Let's, let's check. Wealthy Val. Yeah, it's about 20 mil, but I think it's worth more. Straight high alks? Yeah, 23.2 mil. Straight to the cash pile. Uh, so that should be able to afford me 50 more bank spaces. So I might end up buying that, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, looks like tomorrow's probably gonna be a lot of divination too because I wanna, I wanna get that new uh, divine charge thing and then just stock up quite a few. Um, I've been wanting to stock up divine charges for a little while now, 
And, uh, you know, Invention Batch 2 is the perfect time to do so because the new Divine Charge Maker thing uh, will just speed up the process a decent bit. Oh, but because this does require nature runes for each of these items, it means I'm probably going to have to do some rune crafting as well and uh, stock up a little bit. Maybe get like uh, up to 10k gnats or something and then throw like half of them in, whatever it allows. And today's the big day for invention. If I click this, bam, going to get invention 124. Uh, probably going to end up getting another level just from the discovering here. And uh, yes, I am going to go for all of the free XP. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what I ended up making. Ended up hitting 125 invention and made myself a large gizmo bag. That's going to save me a decent bit of bank space. Uh, yeah, even though some of those gizmos aren't super useful. Uh, that will still be pretty nice. I uh, think I might end up making myself a spring cleaner and lots of tight springs since they seem fairly cheap. Uh, and I'll probably end up disassembling battle stabs or something for powerful components to make the new divine charge thing. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so even though I didn't get this BM in last night, got it today before reset, which is good. Oh, yes. Double food plus Hydrix bolt tips. And, you know, some techie, okay. But the rune bars, lantidimes are good. That's, mmm, that's tasty. Alright, so, uh, from using this for a little while, now got like 10 Divine Charge, almost 11. Uh, I can confirm that it does work with Divination Urns, so they're worth having on you. But they slow in, they, <laughs> they fill incredibly slowly. 10 Divine Charges, uh, almost 11, has been worth about 60% of a single urn. Also, somehow people are apparently getting about a divine charge per minute, and I can just show that that's wrong, uh, that that is not something you should expect, because at 08 to 28, you got 25% of one, so you get about 75% of a divine charge per minute if you're able to constantly siphon, uh, or harvest, I guess, but occasionally you do have to leave to like catch a butterfly for me, that's Slayer XP, or to move to a new wisp whenever one runs out. Um, so yeah, you pr you'll probably get around like 35 divine charge an hour, something like that, if you're actually paying attention. Uh, probably like, you know, 25 to 30 if you're playing another game like Overwatch or something. Uh, but that's still pretty good. So I ended up making myself an auto disassembler too, since I think it's worth it. Um, I'll, I'll go into that a little bit later. But here's a fun level, uh, level 103 fishing just from doing my daily thing here and getting the Minifos rep a few weeks ago. So I've spent probably an hour and a half or something like that sitting here at Bounty, Bounty Hunter. I uh, went through my five placements, lost all of them to a friend of mine, and then, uh, yeah, we just traded a few kills. Got myself a tier two. So, um, yeah, eventually I'm going to try to get that to like a tier nine, maybe tier ten, uh, to get myself the rune pouch. And I think tier 9 is 15,000 points, so it would, it would give me enough for uh, for two backups and then a little bit more. Uh, but I might go further for the tier 10 and 40,000 points, because that would give me a lot of backups and some room to buy uh, equipment patches if I want to in the future for like a Statues of Warhammer. I probably won't, but I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what ends up happening. It's going to take a while, a whole lot of AFKing. Uh, you can see here... I wasn't even fully paying attention, and I went through, like, 2k gold bars, um, smithing, goldsmithing gauntlets. So, yeah. Not a fun way to spend time, but... It's something. Well, I got, uh, racks for my reaper, so I thought I'd come back with melee. Well, there's a pheromone. That's, um, that's good. It's like my third pheromone drop in total at 220 kill count. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have another one, so that way uh, one day I could push up two hours with range and then reset and do another two hours. Uh, I'll probably do that once, I don't know, it's it's 1-2 and just push path 1 or something, or probably when it's 2-3 and just pass, pass, uh, push path 3 for two hours from 0 to 100 and then two hours of path 2. I don't know, uh, but I will make use of it at some point. It's good to have. 
and their perfect timing completed death's assignment onyx bolts i'll take it that's some more money um and my familiar is about to end three minutes left on the aura so yeah perfect um only got in six kills but five were path three so that takes quite a bit of time and the last one was kind of high in rage uh yeah, it's actually only like 100% in rage, 120 melee, and that's all the food I had left, so still got a bit of learning to do. So I've been doing more Bounty Hunter today, and um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off the auto-join queue. I'm done with this, at least for the time being. I wasn't paying enough attention, apparently, and I just lost a lot of stuff I I'm, I'm just more focused on doing something else at the moment uh, for another video that I want to put up this week and I just lost my lance my bandos chest plate the gemstone legs and my bandos gloves all because I wasn't paying enough attention apparently I'm 99% sure that every time I came back, I hit 3-4, and then I started using a fletching keybind, which should have automatically withdrawn my other gear. I didn't end up taking this and dying, but somehow I managed to take that gear, which I normally use to kill people with, because having a higher risk gives you a higher chance to... Um, uh, to upgrade to the next emblem tier that yeah I, I managed to lose all of that and while I, I'm upset at myself for making that mistake and I'm incredibly mad that I'm going to have to grind out and I don't even know how many hours of bosses to get that stuff back I think that uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to make a, a post on Reddit talking about Wilderness Slayer and why I feel that the system in old school for getting emblems should definitely be in, implemented here to avoid having Iron Man have to go through this. Where you sit here for hours on end trading with people, writing down names, trying to remember whose turn it is to get a trade hoping to upgrade to the next emblem tier, all the while risking like 20 or 30 hours of stuff from one simple mistake. You can lose 20 or 30 hours of your life just just by, you know, taking the wrong gear and having it all lost. There's no way I was, I was even scold because of how long it was taking for these these cues we're taking. Skull last 5 minutes, it's like like 15 minutes to get the next match on the queue, maybe maybe 10. Okay? But because it's Bounty Hunter, your items are automatically lost regardless. So, I, I'm i done with this. I got up to a Tier 4 emblem. I'm saying, screw it. You know, I'm not going to bother coming back for this damn... Uh, uh, what's it called? The the rune pouch. And I'm, I'm never going to bother with this shit again. Unless Jagex finally decides to implement Wilderness Slayer. And then I can do something comfortable. Like, take a Sun Spear take some some dragon hide armor go into the wilderness do slayer get emblems randomly man I, like i know that it's my fault and i really am trying not to shift the blame directly onto jagex for something like this but regardless of where the blame lies I just lost like all motivation to play right now I've put like I don't know eight maybe ten hours of work into the the spreadsheet uh, the analysis of invention batch 2 like I'm, I'm just literally going on a daily run right now I'm forcing myself to like, I don't even have the motivation to go back to Vindicta to try and get those items back, since I don't feel like I legitimately lost it. Like, I have another Bandos chestplate. I can use that. I can get myself another pair of Bandos gloves, because I still need Bandos boots, but... Damn it! 
It was one small mistake. Like, I was guaranteed to be unsculled at the time, too. And just because I happened to be trading and saying, Hey, everyone can kill me first. So I match up with the new person. I go. I tell them they can kill me first. And I fucking lose it. So I did an hour of Vind with a dung beetle. And uh, and I just survived my second Yakka kill ever. Um, not going to loot it just yet because I have my luck of the dwarves in the bank. But <laughs> hey, look at, look at the food. Yeah. Okay, so I've got these three reroll tokens. I've got my Lug of the Dwarves equipped, which was apparently there for the whole kill. Uh, Yaka loot is bad. Reroll is bad. Reroll. Wait, what? Oh, you can only do it. Can only do it once. Oh, I thought I could use them all at once, so I guess I have two more Yaka kills to do. And even more Vind on the same night. Uh, to no avail, no drops at all between either of us, actually. We, uh... Yeah, that puts us at, like... Let's see, that was three hours of Greg and two hours of Vind with zero drops so far uh, between the two of us. So that's, that's pretty bad, but... I think I'll just keep doing Vind the next few days uh, till I get a Lance. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, if that doesn't end up happening, I might go back to doing racks, but only after I get more Death Lotus starts. Or, um, end up doing some more Duo or Trio Greg and get myself some Shadow Glaives. Or my main hand Ascension Crossbow. We'll see what comes first. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh. Well, I lost it last night, and I guess I just got it back, so... <sighs> there's... there's the lance. Okay. Welcome back into my collection, baby. Um, <laughs> I just... I woke up, I decided to start doing another hour of Vend, and, uh... Dung Beetle got on, he was like, dude, you wanna go to Vend? I was like, we can do an hour right after this one, because I don't expect to get lucky, and there it fucking is. Ah, <sighs> okay. Clearly back to where I was yesterday, except I'm still down Bandos Gloves and the Gemstone Hauberk, but I'll take it, right? I will take it. And there's another Reaper assignment down. And in the end, uh, only Dung Beetle ended up getting a dormant Anima Core legs. Yeah. Uh, so nothing from Greg there. That puts us together like almost six hours of boss kills now we didn't finish the hour out because I'm about to go eat with my girlfriend um, but yeah almost six hours of bossing together and we haven't seen a single drop that wasn't dormant I just have to do a shout out again thanks so much to the guys at the subreddit and friends chat for Nimi Forest especially Crystal Cove I see them hosting all the time I uh, decided to start coming back to Nimi Forest at least this is my first day of doing it in a long while uh, not just for the XP, because, you know, it'll push a lot of my skills towards 120 and, and whatnot, uh, but because I still need the uh, the rep with the gobies to get to rerolls. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to come back to this more often. It's pretty good XP. Only when I, whenever I feel like it, I guess, I could always come, like, right before, right after a raid. And, uh, yeah, I thought I should give another shout-out to them, because they're some awesome people. Okay, so I came to Greg with uh, Dung Beetle again, and our first drop, in what would be six hours together, <laughs> happens after he dies. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, we, we did get like, we have gotten like two, uh, I guess uh, two different, uh, what's it called? Two different dormant pieces, I just think that's funny, like out of the past two hours, that's probably the first one, and... <laughs> I know it's kind of a minor thing, but I thought it was worthy of a clip. I just got back 10 ancient bones from one voyage. It was uh, 8 plus the merchant bonus of 33%. Uh, so it rounded up to, or rounded down, I guess, to 10. That's pretty great. Uh, that's actually a full scrimshaw worth in one voyage that took like, I don't know, 20 hours with a speed boost applied or something. 
Um, but that also means I can make more death flow to starts if I really need to for racks, because uh, I'm planning on doing quite a bit of racks now that it's 1-2. Uh, planning on still using melee after I farm a little bit of bandos, though. That's probably what I'll do later tonight. Oh, hey, that's, uh, that's a something. Just a few minutes in to the bandos kill. I think that was kill number three, something like that. Got the war shield. Uh, so that's new for me. We just use winter storage on that. There we go. Throw that in the bank. And uh, there we go. Another piece of bandos taken care of. Trying to get some, some uh, tacits and um, gloves and boots here. Oh, no shit, like four kills later. <laughs> Look at the aura timer, okay? Seriously, four minutes in, I get the war shield. Four minutes later, <laughs> I get the gloves. Man, I'll take it. Alright, uh, not quite on track with the every four minutes thing, but I got a god sword shard three from a minion. Oh, look at that. For the first time in ages, I got an effigy. I will take that. Let's see. Uh, agility over crafting. Oh, oh, come on. Let's see. Oh, I can't do it. I'll do it later. And on to the next hour. Got a Bandos helmet. Not bad. I just said that I uh, <laughs> wanted to go in for a full raid. So we'll see what happens there. Um... I just did it yesterday, yeah, but uh, I was able to do my, my reset lock, so that was nice, but uh, that's, that's really not that bad for about an uh, hour and a half of Bandos so far, though I did take about a 20 minute break just then. There we go, left Bandos early, but there is the Beastmaster. There are the sharks of the backup. Let's uh, put on the Luck of the Dwarves. Okay, I mean, uh, that's pretty horrible. After some madness and a couple failed kills, uh, yeah, guys, I said, eh, fuck it, I'm leaving. So, uh, yeah, just going to do my effigy. Uh, farming over fishing, for sure. Open it again. In two. Uh, fletching every time. And the last one uh, for smithing. There we go, and lamp. And a slayer, wow, 62k slayer, that's pretty nice. Alright guys, so I looked in my uh, OBS recordings folder and this week just has a very large number of clips. There's a whole lot there and uh, it means I've got quite a bit of trimming to do. Um, but I feel like it's it's probably time to do another upload. Uh, I don't feel like the episode is really complete yet, but that's just because there's so much more bossing that I actually want to get done. I'm, I'm just so looking forward to getting back to racks uh, now that these rotations are off of 1-3. And, um, yeah, but w with that being said, uh, that'll be the end of this video, post-comp progress number four. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.